Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the BBG and Journey to Immortality. Now, this is a game obviously very similar to Immortal Towers, but I downloaded it, I don't know, about two months ago, something like that, and it was very much probably not as fleshed out as it is now, so I was like, yeah, I'll re-download this and I will give it a shot, and it would seem my cultivation journey has begun anew. <laughs> I'm three years old currently, and I'm in the midterm of soul coagulating, <laughs> which is not very high level, I would suspect. But people weren't joking when they said this game was quite complicated, um, because, yeah, it is. But it's actually been an enjoyable time learning, because the combat is actually quite interactive. The partner system actually makes you feel like you have... A companion on your journey of immortality which is makes sense with the name being what it is but there are so many interfaces there are so many things to do so many things to try and figure out I have I've sort of understood some of them I've left doing the storyline for this video specifically because when I opened it up the first time it seemed like a full-on storyline so I, I decided yeah I'll just wait for that and I'll just try and learn as much as I can about the game while I level up, pretty much. And I've just been YOLOing it through, to be honest. Well, yeah, no, it's fine with me. Now the pills are much harder to get, obviously. I've just started. We have the exact same sort of layout as Immortal Towers instead of Spiritual Mountain. You know, it's an Immortal Garden. Spirit Root's kind of the same, but it's much more clear what the Spirit Root actually gives you. Because it literally just says attack plus this rather than, you know, four stats, if I compare it to another certain game that I play. What's really drawn me now to the game is, even when I downloaded it for the first time, the combat was really interesting to me. Now I'm going to try and, I guess I'll do... Oh, I cost Spirit Stone. Well, it's quite cool, because you can choose the people you take with you in order to go forward here. Now, the one on the left is my companion, and the one on the right is literally, I mean, a spirit beast. But it's incredibly weak at the moment. I'm not sure if I'm missing something there, but it says boutique next to it, so I don't know if that pet is just for show or it's just to fuse with other pets. I don't know. I just was given an egg, and I chucked it into an incubator, and that popped out. <laughs> you know, I'm still very much learning this game, but... It is enjoyable, like quite enjoyable. The PvP is so much more intricate. You actually verse people within the sect that you're currently residing in. And there's competitions like every day between everyone in every tier of the sect. It's, it's really quite cool. So I am probably going to continue to play this like a little bit. Free to play, obviously. That's my jam. But it has been quite satisfying watching everyone get stronger and now that you know before I struggled with these monsters but now it's just like yeah get out of my way sort of thing and there is the combat levels are actually quite long there's a lot of fights a lot of fights which is fine with me obviously you get the reward you get that like yeah I got something for doing this sort of feeling which is all good with me you know now for a little boss nothing too strong because you know I'm overpowered now but what I really want to try is the storyline itself. Which I will get to in just a moment. Now my plan with this um, Immortal Garden is everything into food. And then I'm delegating my production based off that. Basically, because as everyone knows, we've got food upkeep to produce anything <laughs> that we want. And the fact that there's even more ingredients here that are going to be required just makes it even more expensive and makes food even more important especially the level of the uh, beast farm itself which is what provides food obviously as you can see I've maxed it and I am producing only one thing at a time I'm specifically targeting things to upgrade my array to get more spirit so I can upgrade the spiritual route as fast as I can now, I don't know if there's any, um, like, year limitations, like, I'm going to reach the end of my lifespan if I don't get to a certain level. Not too sure about that, but 
I guess we'll find out, but let's have a look at this Divine Beast at the bottom right here. This, I really still haven't figured out fully, but it seems like it's a bit weak. Because <laughs> it does not do much damage, it doesn't have much health, but I think I might be doing something wrong here. I think I need to fuse it with something else. But I just don't have the beasts to even test that on, because it, co it costs food and spirit grass to incubate these beasts and I don't have these resources because every single little bit I'm just pumping into the mansion to get the immortal garden up but yeah it's very similar honestly this is a very similar game but different in quite a few ways there's only a few partners and it does tell you where to get them which is nice you just have to join a certain sect but what's really cool is the actual interface of the partner itself they you can see their cultivation, they cultivate with you. You see their speed, they can't cultivate above you, unfortunately, because that'd probably break if people paying money could pump their servants, because, well, not servants, but companions. Now you've got your dual cultivation, that's literally just to level them up. Realm transformation, honestly couldn't tell you what it does. Improve is, well, I mean, clear enough, it improves their overall abilities, but the items to get these, I've got no idea where to get them, don't know where the secret skills come in, unless that just comes in when you reach a certain realm, because to an extent this game is, well, I don't, not even to an extent, this game is an AFK game past the very start, <laughs> really. You can give them presents to increase their intimacy. Now, I'm interested to see what happens. This is the base partner. I'm not bothering to try and find anyone else until I just establish what the hell I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So I'm just pumping one person to be as strong as me so I can push forward a little bit in terms of the instances and the battles that you have to do. I'll see how it goes for me, but, you know, we'll, <laughs> we'll see. The um, premium currency is pretty easy to earn. You do have daily tasks and you get premium currency for doing the daily tasks. The only one that might be a struggle is giving a gift to the partner and maybe doing the blitz 10 times because blitz is obviously you do a level automatically instantly and those are premium items you you can earn them in over time from quests and stuff like I've done I've got 24 of them but I'm not going to waste them just to get five premium currency because there's no real real point in doing low level blitzes I'd rather push forward as far as I can and do some blitzes at the end of today because I've just started today, so every second counts, I suppose, when you first start these games, and it'll define how efficient you are as you go. So with the mansion, I'm trying to produce as much food as possible to get as many servants as possible. Once I've done that, I'll be able to get more, st more um, lumber in order to upgrade everything, and it's just going to be me upgrading specifically one thing at a time rather than Today's going to be lumber, today's going to be medicine, today's going to be mine. I'm going to specifically get things up in order to make sure I can keep this array going as high as I can so I can pump these stats because these plus 0.6% attack, even if it's like spirit root rank is scrap, which is trash, let's be honest, that means trash. I'm trash right now. What a world, I've come back to. <laughs> I am trash once again. Now, explore, I can't do that, unfortunately. I can't do a lot of things um, because I'm too low level, really. Even in the sect, I can't do the artifact refining room. The alchemy room was damn confusing. I had to go into like six different interfaces to purchase what I needed to get a recipe to begin alchemy. And the main storyline itself, let me just... Going to alchemy, five elixir alchemy gained. I don't know what that means. If anyone knows what that means, please tell, please tell me because I've tried making five pills and I'm at the moment saving up for my fifth alchemy recipe to see if that's what it means. But yes, I don't know what that means. <laughs> but it is a complicated enough interface that actually requires sitting down just to learn it. And of course, everything is named strangely. So you really have to know what pill recipe you want to buy because it will not tell you what it does until you have the actual pill itself so that's when you're in the soul coagulating period the cement elixir but just on the recipe itself it just says this does this <laughs> 
So you definitely need to know what you're going to buy before you're going to buy it. And that requires patience, which has been why it's probably taken me until I've been three, am I three years old? Three years old before I was willing to make a video on this. So at least I knew slightly what I was talking about, you know. Now, this business league is a whole huge another interface. Heaven Source is another basically a tower of goodies where you buy stuff with fairy jade. Fairy jade's basically your premium currency and again it's quite easy to farm honestly in this game at least that's what it seems like. I don't know if there's like a free premium currency in the paid version. I don't know if they're doing that because I haven't tried buying anything with premium currency yet because I don't know what I would buy so it's just better to save them like at the moment. Teleportation thing, I'm not core formation, I can't do bugger all at the moment it's really just a, a grind to try and get to a point where i know slightly what i'm doing <laughs> now this is where i bought the um the elixir's room i bought four um recipes so far which is obviously bugger all but they cost spirit stone and as you know these kind of games when you first start that spirit stone might as well be blocks of solid gold because it takes time to get them or incredibly active participation in like doing the adventure portion of it like the attacking of monsters like you have to do it constantly which I'm sure people are willing to do if they enjoy the game and I do enjoy the game so I have been doing that now the grand source hall this is some other stuff it's very expensive I don't know what any of it does I know this astrology bead is for making an artifact a talisman I think it is but you need so many other materials for it, monster souls and all that kind of stuff, and all of that's from instance. I'm not even going to go into this recycling one because that's much, much higher level, and I don't have much knowledge on that, basically, at the moment. For now. Now, equipment and stuff seem, is, is a little bit different, and especially this... There is a lot. There's a lot in this game. I, um, I can definitely see how a lot of people would just give up on this game. Uh, you know after they download it because it's so overwhelming it throws a lot in your face really fast and you've got to be willing to sit down and be like okay what does this do <laughs> and then try and understand where the effects of that you know affect and yeah so that's pretty much what I've tried to do now skills when you first start quite rare I've only got one I joined the first recommended um, sect simply because I, I'm going to leave it whenever and then join a different one, but I just wanted to see what there was, and I'm trying to get a defense skill and an attack skill, because once you've um, equipped them, they're passive effects that come into effect during the fighting, which is freaking awesome that there's actually like multiple skills that you can acquire and level up from different sects, so you can mix and match how you want your combat to go, but I think you'd have to farm every sec to get like or every single skill I don't, I'm not sure if that's worth it um because I am I'm still low level myself I'm only just about to get I'm just gonna see if I can't wear this sec okay there it is now I have to go into library is it yep ask for advice and this is where you get your skills from so it's obviously defense attack attack but those top two are they have quite high level to get and I'm only really just want to get this defense one I have to get my trash spirit earth root up to scrap level 10 and it's 9 at the moment. So I was going to get this skill and then leave because I have a, and I'm pretty sure this was just for starting the game, I got a token to join the ancient sword order and that is actually what I'm going to do probably after this video to be honest because I've been playing this on and off all day just really trying to understand it. But I know that, where is partners? Partners, there it is. And this one, she is in the Sky Sword sect, and that is how I meet her. So I'm hoping that when I meet her, I can replace my very trashy um, Divine Beast because it's it's too bad to be line in in a battle lineup with me because I would I would like something else. But last for the last part of this little episode, I haven't touched on everything. Obviously, I'm just giving my opinions and thoughts on what I've done so far in, you know, the three years I've been alive in this game. But I'm going to try the storyline. I'm way overpowered for the storyline. Should have probably done this a long time ago because this is a huge source of, I'm guessing, spirit stones. I get 10,000 from this. 
but I was just learning, you know, so let's have a look. Heaven Shattering Sect, the resting place for the bottom disciples of the Heaven Shattering Sect. It has yellowish walls, peeling paints, and nasty furnishings. It's hard to imagine that this is also one part of the sect. So, facing character. See, it's interesting. It's like a text-based sort of thing. So, I am I am in this apparent location, the D room, and I'm facing five people. So... If I try and move, Sister Z Yi has something for you. She's got something. Can I talk to anyone else? I don't know. Hello? Disciple B Lang. Although he's a disciple, his, eye, his eyes contain light and he's very fit. Let's have a chat. Today you have been targeted by Seema Yun Peng and learned some exercises thanks to your health. You've been abused for a day. And now we're being dragged into the back mountains to pray. Okay, I don't know. So, okay, these are just basic interactions, a little bit of filler for the main bit, clearly. He almost died. Okay. All right, let's have a look. Zi Yi, at the age of 18 years old, his clothes were slightly white, but his appearance gave a sense of spirituality. Well, that's what immortals do. Chat. While cleaning the room, I saw a pair of stinky boots in the corridor. I don't think anyone wanted it, so I picked it up. <laughs> I just got some stinky boots. I'm probably, I'm probably like, you know, past boots, but all right. Oh, what's this? Oh, so I have like control. God damn, this is interesting. Chat. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, this is a very full-on, wow. Holy crap. B-Lang followed me through to the Heaven Shattering Sect. Oh, God. Devil Beast is chasing. What's happening? The Daughter of Supremo. Lin... Oh, that's the... Oh! <laughs> okay. So this is the story of meeting your first companion, basically. That's pretty cool. Winding path, twists and turns, occasionally finding small animals. The bamboo forest is luxuriantly green, overlapping tall and straight, just like green boulder chins. Boulder chins? I want to know what they are. Keeping off the sunlight. There feels pleasant fragrance of bamboo leaves in the air. Okay. Oh my god, this is interesting. I like this sort of thing. Samite Pavilion. Various resplendent exotic flowers and rare herbs. Take the herbs. Take the herbs. Wait, what? The maid of Supremo's daughter. She has two buns on her head and is cute in blue clothes. Okay, choose what though, chat? Uh, choose. Um, yes, or I am lost. Yes to what? What do you mean? Oh, is that it there? Do you like our miss? It seems that you... Oh, okay. I was de Chilowen out of the garden by that maid. What do you mean? I think I did a bad thing. Not sure. All right. Heaven shattering sect front door. Okay. Okay, all right, I was going the right way before, never mind, back through I go, back to the path, back to the road, back to the slope. Slope is covered with some thick grass, blah, 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 I need to talk to someone, the devil beast is attacking, apparently. Can I just, raw, nasty human, okay, yeah, I probably shouldn't have tried to chat with it. Boots pressed on devil beast's nose, Jesus. The devil beast fainted, Jesus. All right. Okay. Oh, wow, this is very full on in terms of storyline. I don't dislike it. It's actually quite cool. Okay, and then this is the companion. Right. Okay, was that it? Hello? 
Oh, we're going back now. I see. This is this is a bit to get used to. I have to say. The young lady is for Ching Yun, so she's still collecting medicine. I guess I don't know. I like this. It's like a novel, but you have control over where you're going. I can tell this is going to be a long video. Uh. Where do I go? Have I finished? Oh. Got to chat. Oh. Let's have a chat first. I'm going to step on your shoulders to get the uh, spirit grass, mate. Well, to picking up the grass, I turn and fall. But why? Oh my god. This is huge. Should I read all of this? I don't know. It's a lot. Oh, God. Okay. So, origin story of first companion done. I think. Do I leave now? Going to the orchard. Okay, chat. Hell yeah, let's cultivate. One so wait, what? It's been three years in a flash. What? You didn't tell me it would be three years? Fuck, all right. We've just been picking spirit grass for three years. Yeah, that seems seems legit. Oh dear. Bilang, okay. He will deliberately. De oh my god, it's been three years. I'm still stuck on that. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go fight people. Serving as a living target. Oh shit, I just fucked you up. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Uh, is that it? There are no people. What am I doing? Oh, okay. It's not too intuitive of where to go, but with enough clicking, you do eventually just find it. Storyline's interesting. It's um longer than I thought it would be, too. Okay, so this is the classic MC. The girl's getting married to someone else, yada, yada, yada. Okay, so now I'm being thrown out. Come on, man. What did I do? Okay, look, mate. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... F don't do it. Oh, God. I've warned you. Even my pet killed one of you. That's just sad. Uh, is there anywhere else I like to be sure? Secrets? Any secrets? No secrets. Okay, fair enough. Big brother is coming soon. No! I don't want to fight you. I guess I'm going to fight you. Not that it matters. You're going to die. Oh, very anticlimactic, unfortunately. Um, oh, here we go. I think this might be the end. You leave me with a whole body. Yeah, let's go. Oh. Y'all were not ready. Y'all were not ready. So I've been thrown out. What do you mean? I beat you. What do you mean? <laughs> okay, so I didn't really miss out too much. I'm have to be late soul coagulating to do the next one. But that's quite interesting. That's an interesting little story, isn't it? Okay, I like that. That wasn't there before. I'm going to have to leave this here. This is way too long. I'll do a second video, definitely, because... Why not? This is interesting. There's only one server at the moment, too, which is also interesting. I would have thought... It's been two months since I played. I honestly would have thought they would have a couple of extra servers up, but I well, guess not. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Leave me a like, leave me a comment. 
let me know if you played this game, you got any extra tips, because, you know, I've just started. <laughs> but, as always, have a great day.